alien spinoff movies have been great. <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah. shut your mouth. You I shut would, up. But that. Cyrus, this is, this is Ridley Scott coming back home. It is. Yes, because yeah. all the recent Ridley Scott movies have been <laughs> Man, great. But well, he's coming home okay, on this one. Okay, look at Law of Averages. If all these others have been bad, then he's due for a win. <laughs> you know what? I, I will. I'm going to choose. Make the decision right now. To go with that unbridled optimism. Because there you go. God knows I want this to be good so bad. You know what? Co host, put a face hug on this boy over here so he can yeah, shut up. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's my thing. A lot, you see a lot of sci fi trailers and they're like, hey, that looks pretty cool. And then the movies turn out to be shit. But so often when they make sci fi and horror, most of those movies are pretty bad. Did I mention that Ridley Scott's going home? No. Now, <laughs> now what, what I will say about this is like, look at this trailer. It looks way better than any of those other trailers for those movies I was just talking about. Seriously, and Thank I can't you. believe they finally made a Halo film. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. What, what, what I'm seeing in this are like some of those original uh, H.R. Giger designs from the, the art of H.R. Giger that I never saw in the Aliens movies. I'm like, finally, this stuff is coming to light. This looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. Well, the most remarkable thing about this to me, it, it, it's I want it to do well, more, more so than the fact that it's a, a pseudo-prequel alien because there's none of the aliens that right. we're used to are even in this film i mean scott has said flat out you won't see one of those they're well, not in this he, he you said know what? just recently that no they're not in the movie but the right. thing is they keep saying shit like right. that and like e- e- even when i watch this trailer i'm like okay i'm sorry but it, it definitely is an alien prequel in every sense of the well, word the especially, look of it is especially when yeah. you go back and watch a- the first alien yeah. uh which that whole first like 30 minutes of that movie is all about what we're about to see in this well, film. Except for the fact that in there, okay, so it's a crashed spaceship that they find the aliens on that crashed presumably because an alien that invaded that ship, took it over, and killed everyone on it. Yeah. Right? That stuff Spoiler that alert. talking about. That's the beginning of the fucking movie. <laughs> that, 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 that alien <laughs> is what Cyrus, he does that just to <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, so, it works so great. <laughs> but that alien race is what this whole movie is about. That race that we've only seen skeletons of. The space the, jackets. Their ancient ship that crashed how no, God knows how long ago. That apparently the eggs keep for really yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, they, they keep, t- yeah, there's so much. First of all, y'all keep saying really Scott has come home. I just keep seeing really Scott landing on a spaceship. I have arrived and all these nerds <laughs> below him. Yes, yes. With but, his bag. With, and, and a giant silver robot standing behind him. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how he pictures it. <laughs> yes, but but here's the other thing about really Scott. I, I feel like really Scott has just been fucking with people because whenever they ask really Scott, they say, okay, now is this the prequel to Aliens that you have been talking about. And he's like, no, no, I, I didn't say that, man. No, I was somebody, I don't know what people talk about. And then, and then you start to see a little bit more. And it's like, but there's this. And he's like, well, and he used words like, well, you know, you, you see the DNA of other movies in there. And it's like, okay, all, all right. I don't know what he's talking about, but hey, he's, a, he's a genius <laughs> director, whatever it, you say. You know, okay, okay. The thing is, well, no, hold on. And then, oh, and, then you, and then you look at the trailer. And then, and then so I just start taking note. First of all, they have the space jockey in there. Number one. Number two, they have Wayland uh, Tsunami, 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 whatever it is, the, the company that sent the first crew out in the first movie. We oh, see yeah. their logo everywhere. Then we not only do we see the space jockey, but they've taken the space jockey's head and brought it into a lab and they started researching it. And then you look. And, oh, and then they, they have you that, really look. You have to yeah, like really look. Yeah, and then, and then they have the spacecraft in there that they found the the giant monolithic spacecraft thing. And it's like, all right, you know, shut the fuck up, really. Yeah, this, Corey, is a, Corey, this is a Corey, prequel. Let me, let me just say this real quick before I forget because the thing is, like, with everything that is said and done, when you watch the trailer, what is the first thing? And especially if you're a hardcore alien fan like mm-hmm. myself, what's the first thing you hear? You hear that oh. creepy ass pong music. Boom. You know. In fact, I, I love the mashup to the oh, yeah. to the score in this movie because they brought that woman who did the, the the sounds for the first Alien and teamed her up with the guy who's blowing that big horn in Inception because it's like bah, ooh, bah, ooh. and it's like come on, it's like, watch, watch 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 the first, <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, watch the first Alien trailer and then watch this w- watch the first Alien teaser trailer and it's almost identical. Like, you guys and, keep acting as if this wasn't the intent all along. Look, Corey, I don't know. It where wasn't Cyrus. You got that from, but he's been saying since the beginning that this is indeed not a prequel, but it's set in the same universe. I was having lunch with Ridley Scott, and he told me this, man. He was, oh, and I paid for lunch, so I don't like being lied to. I saw them, Cyrus. Yeah. Oh. No, I, 
I was reading. You may have paid for his lunch, but only the sense. No, he was. But he went, I got two monitors showing you how these are shot for shot. <laughs> no, you know, I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, no, he was saying. I was reading things where he was being very cryptic, and he was because people were saying they know it's in the same universe, but they were just trying to say, all right, it's in the same universe. What does that mean? Is it a prequel? Is it? And he was just like, oh, I has nothing to do with aliens. You ain't gonna see no aliens in this. Well, it's, like, uh, it, he said from the beginning it was set in the same universe, and it is not really a prequel. Which if it doesn't have any of the same characters, it doesn't. It doesn't deal with the same monsters from it. Then no, it's not really a prequel. But it's it does. about it, a completely different group of events and uh, and a whole different subject matter than what al- any of the aliens. It has the space. It, it could be. It, but see, that's the thing. It could be argued because there's so many elements from Alien that are in this movie that is so connected in, in a way that it might not be a prequel in that it leads up to the same story, but it's a prequel in that it's explaining a lot of mysteries from I'm the first Alien. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, yeah. but there's also no precedent for doing this. Yeah, really. I mean, well, actually, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. By your that, rationale, uh, uh, Pitch Pitch Black is a sequel. No, no, it, but it, watch, it, okay, okay. The thing now is, watch it watch, is. Go watch the director. Oh, not to this of, though. I'm sorry. Go, go, ahead, go, go ahead, watch. Go and watch the director's cut of Aliens, the James Cameron one, and he has a whole segment that he had to take out because of time restraint. He put it back in, and it's all, it, and that is also dealing with that derelict ship, mm-hmm. which is, you know, that is the whole point of this movie. That that movie carried on the first Alien and the second Alien, even even this planet that it's on, which is called LV four two six, that was uh, you know described in the second film. God, yeah. But uh, but I mean. It, 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 it's, it, it is ridiculous. Uh, but the thing is, okay, besides all of, you know, us arguing like if it's if it's a prequel or not, I have to admit that trailer is probably the most incredible looking trailer as far as the presentation of how I wish trailers were shown these days. Um, because I know a lot of people were like, when I saw this, uh, a lot of people were like, well, hey, I thought you hate trailers. I'm like, no, 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 I don't hate trailers. I actually like watching a trailer the first time around when it's very vague in its subject matter. When it's uh, still it, a teaser. It, when it's still almost a te- teaser, yeah. And the thing is that as these trailers go along, they start showing you more exposition, start giving you more of the plot, and then they become like 10-minute movies for dummies. Yeah. And uh, that's what I hate. This one hit every note as far as like being a fan of, this, uh, of this, the Alien series as far as what you want to see in sci-fi and i'm like wow you know it feels like it's been an eternity since i've seen somebody that could take a, a, a sci-fi movie like this like like the original heart of what alien was and really like do it i mean at least for this trailer i mean i i'm, I'm judging it by this, this trailer alone where everything i loved about that first alien movie the whole mystery of them finding that ship it looks like I'm getting I'm getting nothing but more of that with this trailer. Yeah, I, can't, can't well, I have to agree with you on that, man, because they they have done what trailers used to do. They just they didn't give you a lot, but they gave you enough to to, to like they gave you enough to like put together what might be happening, but not enough to take away the mystery, which is why you see that trailer, because you need to come and see what is going on to, in order to get the full effect of the story. Well, now, to be fair, one reason it's able to do that is because it has four of the movies to back it up. I mean, at this point, you know what Aliens is about. So a teaser is enough to get you excited. But if this was the first movie or something, you've got to show more so people even know what it is that they're getting in for. I tell you one thing, uh, some, somebody who might be more happy about this than even the co-host. Who? James Cameron. Oh. Now he knows what his next project is going to exactly. be. You know, and that's all I can think. You know, Prometheus's. <laughs> Prometheus's. Prometheus. 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 Uh, but I mean, the thing is, is that you know, okay, real quick story. You know uh, how how Cameron pitched the second Alien movie? Oh. He put an S. He he wrote Alien slowly on a on a chalkboard, and then he added an S to it and put dollar sign <laughs> through the S. <laughs> yeah, and that's how he sold it. He's like, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing Makes that, a lot of that is a true story. But the thing is, is that you know, after watching this, it's one of my my deepest like secrets, like something that I wish that it happens before I go when it's time for me to expire. That he'll see this and he'll see the movie, and hopefully, it's it's everything that we all wish it to be. And he's like, you know what? I'm gonna do a sequel off that. Uh, that would fucking rule my fucking world. I know. I could, I, could blow I your could die after I see that movie. Yeah. But you know, I, I was wondering if this project was even gonna get made because there was a time when Ridley Scott was talking about doing a version of his project that I knew could not, in this day and age, even with Ridley Scott involved, could not get made. And he was talking about doing a story about the space jockey, the alien being that they find, and given that character's story and having it done through all these. I, I, now, Coast, correct me if I'm wrong, but having it told through just through aliens not not uh, alien, not the alien creatures but you know right. an, an alien species that was a, that was killed off or at least on that ship was killed off by the aliens that we know now 
I, I want to say I, I've heard that, and it's funny because it's 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 like my it's it's another one of my fantasies I wish they do where it, it you know it's all coming from the point of view of the alien to where you don't even have like this could have been I mean if they would have let him if they would if 20th Century Fox would have let let him do that idea if that is a true idea this would have been the first they they could have called that the artist I mean it would well, have been the first silent I, movie dealing with. Just seeing this alien, uh, it, you know, it get involved with these, you know, the whole alien mythology through the point of view of an of an actual a different alien with no human dialogue, no human to fuck it up. I mean, that's that would be wonderful. I don't know. I I see that being more like Warhorse. Okay. <laughs> 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 just having these encounters with people, except it just actually kills them and then moves on. They're like, wow, we never got a feel for anybody. You know, I got to. I agree with you completely ghost and watching this teaser i mean it gets my excitement up i'm like mm-hmm. there's so many familiar themes i mean there's even that moment that feels like when you're walking among the alien egg fields and alien mm-hmm. with, but they're not there's something completely different right. but you're obviously supposed to get that same feeling from the shot oh, yeah. and but it moves so fast there's so many things you almost want to go frame by frame bo- through it and yet at the same time i don't want this teaser to tell me too much the one thing i am worried about though that that apparently the entire script has already been leaked online and i have well, no don't tell interest, me anything about no it. no interest in reading it but the thing that has been going around a lot is just how that like perhaps it's one of those ancient astronaut type of stories ultimately like oh that's, these, the reason humans are here is because these aliens yeah, see, I know, I you're know. right about that and that's what i've been i'm oh, i'll be honest with you i'm kind of over at reacting to this trailer because we're recording a podcast but my true feelings towards it is to be calm and just wait for the movie to come out as much as we want this to be what alien was for the people who were able to see it when it came out and for those who discovered it later down the line I, I still have a few trepidations about about the story. Oh, I mean, I, I, how yeah. dare you, Corey? So, you telling I'm me so... that you came to my birthday party not to celebrate with me, but no. to just be here because you have to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Is that? Is that? No. Why? I'm just saying that. You're not true to the cause. Corey. I, no. I'm just saying that I came to your birthday Stay party. Yeah, I want to. I came to the party. Want to have a good time. I haven't tasted the cake yet. I don't know what it's like. It might I'll taste like you judge me on my cake. You know? But uh, no. I mean, no. No. The story. I'm telling people. Just okay. you know, you might. But see, the thing about this is that being that it, you know, let's just say that it, it is set in the same universe. It is not for, for whatever they're saying. It's not the same story. So it might not be as good as we all wanted to. We see imagery. That's all we see. And we're all excited about that imagery. Of course, we're going to be. But we haven't seen really what the story is. yet. And from what little bits I've heard. I'm really not all that excited about the story. And from what little bit I can put together for the trailer, it even makes me more more i would just say hesitant to be truly truly excited uh you know but i'm i i am i am excited sensibly but i'm prepared for it not to be what everybody wants it to be well i have to disagree Corey. i mean I, this is this is the greatest movie of all time i'm giving this a better <laughs> <laughs> you know, i was gonna say you're actually gonna give ratings <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i'll give this a riddle man you know <laughs> no I, I mean i mean yeah i mean the thing is that if this is a disappointment i will definitely be the most you know depressed disappointed robot on the fucking planet that night and it's gonna suck you know it really is because i mean like this trailer is done miracles for me this trailer i mean christmas came fucking early on my face this year because i got this trailer and Damn. i got the dark knight rises christmas all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i mean and they, and they were two and they're both both of these trailers gave me exactly what i need needed without telling me the whole goddamn plot and what it is i mean i i love the fact that you know i wish i wish they would say look you know what um the film burned we we don't have any more copies of it. All you get now is that trailer. Because you know what? I'd be satisfied. I'm like, cool, because that trailer is now a mystery. Just like that first 30 minutes of Alien is a mystery to me. I mean, I love it. And it's yeah. going to keep my brain working, keep me interested in this whole idea of what it's, the whole Alien universe it's is. It's funny. There's an automatic lashback, though, from some groups that are big, you know, as big Alien people as you, who say – I think it's fucking blasphemy to try and explain what that stuff was in the beginning oh, of Alien. On. To say like, hey, it's exciting because it is a mystery. I don't hold any truck with that personally, <laughs> but I can see kind of where they're coming from. I, I can't too, Cyrus. Where, where, where were those people uh, when fucking Alien uh, three, four, and then the first Alien Predator came out? Where were those fucking people screaming blasphemy? Huh? They well, were they in. were. They they, they, were. Sure they they were. were. I was one of them screaming blasphemy. The voices where everyone else was screaming it too. No, you, you know what? In space where no one can hear you scream. Don't, don't you say? You say, Leon. You say, oh come on. But I mean, the people do have a point. I mean, we haven't seen the movie yet, so we really can't say what the fallout is going to be, whether it's going to be good or bad. But there is a point to be made about what works so well about Alien is that there's a bunch of discussion about a lot of the things that we see. 
and we're not told. And people continue to discuss that, and that really keeps this movie I think it's one of the things that keeps that movie alive and to come in and to try to over explain it it could be a detriment to the film I'm saying possibly I'm I'm usually the first one to say that like the idea of uh, with the thing like we're going to show what's on his ship I'm like don't do that dude. there's no reason to do that but here as far as what you know what made aliens work well there's been about five or six tries to get that formula back and it hasn't happened so if you're going to get the original guy to go back and do something let him do it now to address the elephant in the room, this is Ridley Scott, the original Aliens guy, coming back to do Aliens. Mm-hmm. If this fails, it's over, John. That's yeah, what I'm uh, saying. Yeah. You know, that's the thing, Leon, because I was going to put a counter argument. I was going to say, if see, the thing with all the other Aliens movies besides a- uh, Aliens, which I think is a, the, one of the most brilliant sequels ever made, is that all those other Alien movies – they're just studio produced films. I mean, they're things that people are trying to create a franchise out of, keep the property alive as far as milk and money from it. I can let those go and not say that they, they are part of that universe. You bring the guy back that started it all, who is the god of that universe, and have him come in and fuck it up, that's when you can cry, co-host. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and you know what the thing is? Uh, it's a good point bringing it up as far as like studios who, who force you know who force these movies onto people because it's like it, it generates money you know they instead of looking at what aliens was all these all, all 20th century foxes it was just look at that that dollar sign that that cameron wrote on that board and that's all they focused in on not the idea of what this was because even when cameron got on board it was a passion project of his because he was in love with the first movie and with this knowing that ridley scott you know, you you can watch you can watch a, a DVD, and when they talked to Ridley Scott, he was like, you know what? If I had to do something else, I'm a little interested in what happened with that derelict ship. Like, why is it there? And he's been talking about that for years. It's something that it's been an idea that's been burning in his head that he's had for a long, long time. It's and I'm back and, and forth. I'm, and I'm glad that you know he's finally had a chance to where the studios l- are leaving him alone and letting him just tell his story. Like Cameron was talking about doing it too for a while. I mean, it's kind of gone back and forth between both of them saying. Every once, couple, once every couple mm-hmm. of years, I'm interested in telling the story yeah. with the yeah. other stuff in that universe. Both of those guys got in a room with 20th Century Fox. Now, I've read this, I've read this story several times. I don't know how true it is, but I've read it several times where they wanted to, uh, you know, go back to the aliens, uh, movies and they had ideas for, for a new alien, but they said, you know, the thing is, we have this idea that we want to present to you, but we know that you guys are getting ready to do aliens versus predator. Yeah. Our only stipulation is if we if we give you these ideas, we don't want that movie to be made. That is okay. true. That is actually oh, yeah. true. And, and I can only imagine like what was being said in that room. I mean, shit, that's another mystery to me. I, well, hope, the they, I hope they make a movie about after, <laughs> after Aliens, the second film. It became it really became a series about the producers. I mean, both Alien Cubed or whatever, you know, <laughs> yeah. or, and Alien Resurrection were films that were famous for being taken away from the directors and the writers, right. like for having like just a just a giant kitchen full of cooks mm-hmm. writing and rewriting and doing last minute changes, and then yanking the films away from the directors and going, no, 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 you didn't do it all what we told you. Let's cut it up the way we want it and put mm-hmm. it out. Yeah. I mean, it, there was so and much, you saw what happened. There was so much interference with both those films uh, as they were being made and after they were done there's no wonder that neither one of them was that good you know and unless the aliens versus predator is nothing but i mean come on that's just going up to the cheapest whorehouse in town oh yeah <laughs> that's all that that's a yeah, kid playing yeah. with their their action figure yeah, yeah you talk about a series ending on a fucking whimper like that res that alien the last alien versus predator movie is one of the worst movies i've ever seen in the world absolutely right yeah, 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 ass that, versus that, penis yeah. is what that is <laughs> 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 and you know, you, it is famously known that these that yeah they, they didn't know what to do with the series after Cameron left because that was on the third one there was famous talk. Of people, I'm sure a lot of people heard this already about how one of the producers just as, almost as a vanity project just wanted to come in and write his own version of what was going on. I want a wooden planet full of monks. Mm-hmm. That fights yeah. aliens. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, you, you right know now? things went completely off the rails when somebody mentioned, uh, hey, how about having a, a planet made out of wood? <laughs> and they actually did like pre-production artwork oh that okay. cost God knows how much to put on paper. That that that, that you could see that all over the uh, Alien Three documentary where they were really trying to go off about this planet with wood. It's like, well, uh, how do you explain that? You know, how how does this happen? A planet of wood? No, like, you know, ah, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll write something in there. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, if this is a, if let's just say that it is somewhat of a prequel or it's connected to the universe, there's some yeah. there's some things that there's some things that you know that you could almost have fun with asking yourself like what what could the crew from the original alien movie have learned from this crew because i look at some things that just said you know y'all need to improve on this like 
I don't know, maybe maybe this can be explained, but they got to get s- some better fucking helmets, man, because apparently anything can break through those helmets. You can see, like, we know <laughs> we know what happened the first movie, you know, that face uh-huh. face like it just broke through there with, with ease, and in the, and in this trailer we see something just spraying some guy's face, even though he has like glass. I'm like, whoever's producing the, the, these helmets is doing a shitty job it's at it right you now. You know what? We like there was that whole thing earlier. Three M corporate. There's that thing earlier this year where they found a life form that used arsenic as its basis instead of carbon. So who's to say that there's not an alien species? That's that all I'm saying, dude. Acid hey, you're there, the one over you know? there fighting it, all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cyrus versus co-host. Or Cyrus oh, versus co-host. Oh, and you know what? They they you look at this. It, I guess one of the biggest things don't ever work for this company because they just sent every employee out to get fucked up somewhere. But don't be the black man on the ship. I haven't seen Prometheus yet, but there's a shot of Idris Elba and just like any black man in a science fiction movie, he's like, got a look on his face like, oh, shit! <laughs> oh! Well, wait, 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 you're the black man. You, you have to ask right off the bat, like, this isn't a horror or sci-fi movie, is it? Yeah, no. Yeah, because oh, nobody would ever yeah. work. You got yeah. Numi Rapace and, and Charlie Theron and they're both looking at each other like, oh, it's gonna be you, bitch. <laughs> oh, I, think, I, think he was, I think he was reading the script. Oh, yeah, if you... <laughs> you, you oh, you know, if you let's let's admit it, you, in the original Alien, they they but all, all girls in that ship were kind of tomboys, but the less attractive chick, of course, is the one that got it. So I would say that <laughs> Rumi Rapace or whatever her name is in this movie, Rumi Mar or whatever, is gonna be the one to get it in this film. Rumi <laughs> Rapace. Mm-hmm. Numi- Newman Rapace is that so she's the one in this movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she yeah, she's gonna die. I mean she's going up against Charlie. Charlie's the one who'll probably live. Charlie's their own is the one who'll probably die. No, Charlie's their own is hotter. Unless yeah. that's what I'm saying. The, that's what you said. The girl's not as hot will live. No, I was saying the girl who's less attractive. I was oh. saying there's like two tomboys in the original alien. The less attractive girl's the one that got it. So uh yeah, Nuna Rapace is or whatever. I, I thought Harry Dean Stan was pretty hot in that as, first movie. <laughs> she's listed as being the lead role, Numi, so I'm thinking it's Numi. Uh, oh, that's yeah. a yeah. trick. They're throwing you off. Don't you fall. It's a trap. Don't fall for well, it. Well, Michael Fassbender is the android, and I think he's – wow, what a perfect yeah, choice. Yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. Especially after seeing his like performances. Like, I've, I've, I've been like having like a barrage of his films like hit me the past like few weeks, and he I'm like, wow. He has sort this, of so is this, less type of – Yeah, he's, per, he's perfect. And, and is this an android. the android that's going to be trying to have sex with everybody? I sure. <laughs> 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 the android otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the whole reason behind the design? Of you? you have a problem. Problem. If you have sex and you don't feel anything. <laughs> no, it's because I'm an android. Yeah. We can't get this ship off this goddamn planet because he's too busy in the back fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get him started. <laughs> and when he has an orgasm, he's like the, the android in the first movie, just milk splo- spewing all over the place. Except the sperm. <laughs> except <laughs> sperm. Yeah. Maybe that's what the black guy saw on the monitor when he was screaming. <laughs> oh, show! Sure, that's the best thing I've ever seen. This got look at this porn right here. No, you know, man, it's. It, I'm looking forward to this very much. I'm regardless of all the complaints that um that I've oh, stated. You, you've been so back and forth. I can't tell what you <laughs> No, mean. I'm looking forward to it, but I I have my reservations. It, it, keep, it keeps me balanced. Yeah. I, I wanna I wanna make a movie about Corey and his back and forth and, and just, just so I can use that alien noise when, for the trailer go boom it's <laughs> <laughs> in the room. It's not possible. Oh, you know what though? <laughs> you know what I am happy about though? I'm glad that this crew doesn't have a cat. Because that cat in the first movie was an asshole. That cat would just watch people <laughs> die and just sit there like, hey, he's, he's, I, I can't do nothing for you, man. He's a cat. What the fuck is he supposed to do? I, I, I didn't know. Hey, get I, help. Gar, Gar, I didn't know that Garfield was on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that, kid, that cat is practically eating lasagna oh, while he's watching yeah. you die. <laughs> get away. Oh, wait. I have to go back for my cat. <laughs> go. <laughs> Gone, bitch. Yeah. Don't come back to me. You guys know how much I love cats, and I'd be like, Fuck that cat. <laughs> that cat had the I best. Know. That ha- cat had one of the best reaction shots in that first <laughs> alien movie. Well, if, you know that cat is just that cat just sitting there looking at people like you said. What I want to do, I, I would at least I know it can't do anything. I, I at least want it to look horrified. But the cat and alien was just kind of like, well, better you than me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the cat had worked out a deal with the alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like a trap. Yeah, when you looked at when yeah. you watched that scene, it seemed like that was a whole setup. <laughs> I know that 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 cat is just, it's like taking a bribe from the alien. The alien's like, now nah, twelve o'clock, you gonna open up the door and let me in, right? Mm, <laughs> okay. So I want you to stay just outside where she can see you. So she's got to come back out. <laughs> that, cat, <laughs> like, that cat is totally like the monkey in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, yeah, see how to the alien. <laughs> and by the way, the people are very excited because I don't think we even had the full trailer yet. We had a te- we had a, uh, a a trailer to a teaser to another teaser 
and we don't yeah. even have the full trailer yet, and it's like, okay, we're really not calm. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we and we're not. <laughs> I know, and we're not even like close yet because the movie Prometheus will be out on June eighth, twenty twelve. So we got a long way to go before mm. we, Too have, long. we can see this movie. Yeah, we got a long time to wait. So yeah, Dark. Uh, the year before you know it. Yeah. Yeah. No, unless the Mayans are right.